What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Legion Go video here and we're going to take a look at the different operating system power modes here, performance, balanced, and efficiency to see what kind of effect it may have on our Legion Go's performance when it comes to some of these different uh, tests and games here. We'll use Cinebench, 3D Mark, and Cyberpunk to kind of get an idea. And the first thing we'll do is be checking out Cinebench on the OS power mode performance. We are at 20 watts or the red ring mode on your Legion Go. We are at four gigs of VRAM currently right now for this. And uh, we'll go through all these different modes and look. But I think the interesting thing in this video will be to see that actually how much the TDP settings, VRAM settings, and OS power mode settings all kind of go together to affect the performance. Now our scores here on Cinebench, we have 13,348. 13247 and 9111 uh, when it comes to these when it goes to the performance mode balance mode and efficiency mode here so a big drop on efficiency at 20 watts not plugged in here in handheld mode when it comes to the cpu performance for cinebench obviously getting choked out there but at 30 watts plugged in not near as big of a difference between performance and efficiency when we get our 13352 similar to our 20 watts unplugged but the uh, efficiency mode stays up there at 12880 uh, which is quite improved when you're plugged in at 30 watts. So handled differently by the OS. Now taking a look over at 3D Mark at the 20 watts, 4 gigs of VRAM, 3137 performance, 3140 balanced, and 3100 efficiency. And you can see the difference in the CPU scores, of course, dropping each time as we change the OS power mode. But the GPU trying to budge up a little bit on balance, but really didn't gain much of anything when it came to efficiency there. And over on 30 watts at the 4 gigs of VRAM, 3341 and 3371. Now you can see there the CPU doesn't take near as much of a hit, just like you saw over in Cinebench when it comes to the efficiency versus performance. GPU didn't gain or change a whole lot, but we did gain some overall score this time on efficiency versus performance, which was just about the only scenario throughout there that we really got that kind of a gain. And that's because we gave it all the power we could. So the CPU was still doing good, even in the efficiency mode and pushing the GPU. So the whole system overall just did better that way versus the 20 Watts. Now, if we get in here and take a look at six gigs of VRAM for the fun of it, a little bit different story, 2967, 2991 and 2975, when it comes to the 20 Watts on here at four gigs, of VRAM and that's just something that I do talk about sometimes that VRAM and TDP and the OS modes are really going to affect each other all together as a whole package. Now taking a look at Cyberpunk, this game doesn't really kill the RAM on the system too much, so I stuck with 4 gigs on here. We are running at uh, medium settings, FSR quality here at 20 watts, and it comes down to not much difference, 4129, 4104, and 4130 when it comes to performance versus balance versus efficiency in here when it comes to the operating system power modes here. So not much of a difference on here now of course i did jump in and do plugged in 30 watts to see what we would get on performance versus efficiency and not much difference either 3550 and 3450 we actually lost uh, a frame which you know room for error there and i did run these multiple times but each time i did see one one and a half frame lower on efficiency versus performance so that's just cyberpunk though but that's the numbers we got there but yeah, that's pretty much going to bring us to the end of this video. I want to keep it kind of short and sweet because ultimately if we want to get deeper into this and see how things are affecting performance when it comes to the operating system's power mode, VRAM settings, and TDP, we need to jump in and test a lot more games, which is something we're talking about here internally as a potential future video if we could get in and check a lot of different games at the different VRAM, TDP, and OS power modes to really see how everything's affecting each other. But this video certainly gave us a general idea with Cinebench, 3D Mark, and Cyberpunk, kind of how how the system's reacting with all three of those components working together between the OS power, the VRAM, and the TDP. So definitely some neat information in here. It's not just a set it and forget it kind of thing when it comes to the OS uh, power mode or getting the most out of your GPU or CPU. It's really going to depend on the game, the VRAM settings you have, and the TDP you have set as well when it comes to what kind of power mode you want in the OS. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, we really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.